Is your hand? Your hand? Like, what is? What, what do you mean? You, are you, what does that mean? Your hand? Hand. I don't know, hand. <laughs> I know what hand is. Well, what's up, YouTube fam? It's Todd and Tasha, or Tasha and Todd. I'm trying to remember to say her name first. Why? I don't know. Okay. Um, anyway, so we are back. <laughs> we are back again with another video, as you can see, and um, talking about jobs. So. In the process of, um, I feel like I'm sitting way too far. In the process of um, getting another video together, we ran across a couple of jobs here. Uh, well, maybe more than a couple. Yeah. And um, but first, before we get to this whole job fiasco here, do us a small favor in a big way: like, subscribe, and share all over social media. Now, if for some odd reason. You don't have social media, you don't have Facebook, you don't have Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, what's the other one? Talk Tick, um, there's TikTok. a couple other ones. Yeah, TikTok, whatever. Share anyway, okay? So again, if you don't have social media, share anyway. Exactly. Yeah, I see, I remember before social media, well, I'm not gonna say before social media, but I remember the old school social media. The old school social media, for those who don't know, you know, that there was old school social media. Old school social media was actually getting a few people on a three-way call. Yep, so you call one of your friends up, and they're like, oh, let me let me call someone. So then they get on the three-way, and they call all the person up, and next thing you know, you have three or four or five people, so like a party line. That was social media right there. Wow. Anyway, sorry to bore, bore you guys with that. So, um... I don't know, so we can say ladies first here. Okay. For our Los Angeles jobs. All right. So let's get right into it. So first of all. <laughs> oh, some of these jobs, um, before you get to the first of all. Oh. Um, really, uh, I should say a lot of these jobs, um, we don't actually have like the pay. So we want to let oh, yeah. you know ahead of time we don't have um, the pay. But I can tell you from my um, own uh, experience and understanding, uh, basically, these jobs uh, will not pay any less than $15 an hour. So, yeah. over $15 an hour for these jobs that um, we're going to tell you about. It's not even that much more. So. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Okay, so, first job, of course, is, I'm saying, of course, cut. First job for you guys that we have to report on you is. Yeah, like you haven't done a video in like ages or something. <laughs> You're all over there dry and stiff. <laughs> and okay. Anyway, so you guys, well, first of all, you just now let me talk. That's part, part of the problem. Anyway, so first of all, the first job that we have for you is that of a writer, okay? Now, some of you guys out there, you may know somebody, if it's not you, you may know somebody, so again, share all over social media, who's looking for a writer job, a writing position, I should say. This is at KTLA, we all know what that is, if you're in LA area, that is, of course, a news station. And basically, this is for, it is part-time, and it is for the daily production of quality news stories, obviously cohesive with what KTLA, you know, their values and the type of news that they do report. So, what they're looking for is, basically, it's a fast-paced environment. You're, again, it's going to be a daily production of stories. So, they want to make sure that you are articulate and fast and accurate. Um, you definitely will have deadlines to meet as far as that's concerned. And... You will be monitoring, of course, breaking news stories as well for to potentially, you know, write about those too. So it's pretty fast paced and exciting. Now, what they what is so cool about this is that first of all, you it does say a couple of things. First of all, bachelor's degree in journal journalism or a related field is desired. So I always think about those words like, okay, it's desired, but there's some leeway with wiggle room. Next qualification, two years experience in top 10 market. Uh, newsroom preferred okay so you can spin it if you're a really good writer you're a really good interviewee 
interview yeah interviewee then you can of course spin your experience as far as that and you know obviously i would still encourage you to apply now last but not least this is really awesome they participate in the um los angeles fair chance initiative for hiring so basically that simply means that if you have a little problem in the back you know that you that had happened way back then aka criminal history <laughs> um but you are a qualified applicant otherwise then they will go ahead and consider you in accordance to the Fair Chance Initiative of hiring. And last but not least, they say this is pretty cool. So again, if you want to be around happy, enthusiastic, overachievers, they say that this is the place for you. So go ahead and they are encouraged to apply. Okay. Well, that's good. So we'll have to, <laughs> well, some of us will have to apply for that position. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to tell them about this one first, but it'll seem a little, I don't know, so uh, <laughs> I'll wait for this one. So They're probably sick. expecting to hear a banger, you know, the first one I'm telling about this, you know, kitty cat type of, <laughs> but anyway, so, <laughs> but anyway, but they make some money when they're doing that one. So, okay, um, so the next job, guys, sorry, like, she just got me. I don't know, all over the place. You need to some energy drink, probably. Oh, no, actually, I need to take another one. Um, so the next job is actually um, working for the United States Postal Service. Mm. Okay, again, the U.S. Postal Service. Now, I'm not talking about um, uh, the carrier where, you know, you go out there and, you know, you deliver mail to people's um, homes and you have to watch out for the dogs or uh, people out there, you know, shooting across the neighborhood or whatever, something like that, <laughs> or in the corner jitting. Or something like that um this is basically uh a i'm not i want to say mailroom clerk but that's another maybe if i just look at it um wow <laughs> you do your research ahead of time no it's no the name is on here and i just can't <laughs> <laughs> for some reason i can't even uh See, postal that? clerk postal postal clerk did i just say postal clerk i said mail clerk mail clerk well it's the basic the same thing so basically, you will be working the front desk at the postal service, and you'll be like selling stamps and um, different items, like for the packages and things like that. People will bring the packages to you at the desk, and um, you know you might tape the boxes and stuff up for them. You know, weigh the boxes, things like that. Um, like I said, um, then you'll let them know maybe how many stamps they need, and then you'll also be in the back, like actually sorting mail. Um, you know sort of mail as far as like each city and state and you know, things like that so um you know you should be able to like do like you know some of course manual labor which obviously manual labor is part of jobs um these days anyway so um it's a great opportunity there's good there's a good benefit package and um so you got a good health uh, insurance um paid holidays and, um, you know, paid sick leave, you know, all that good stuff, too. So life insurance, um, a fat retirement plan, um, and, you know, a host of other things that's not listed, of course. Now, um, so the pay for that, actually, there is a pay for this one. Um, I'll just let you know that if you're wondering how many years of experience you need, um, all you need is zero experience, okay? No experience is required, and they do train you as well. So, um Anyway, so the uh, starting salary is about uh, $18.47, $18.47 to $33.82 an hour, uh, which is around about 56,700 buckaroos um, a year. So um, Plus full benefits. Yeah, well, that's what I'm it just is. reiterating it, okay? Right. Just sell it. Just yeah. don't, we don't, have, don't take commission. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't okay. know about you. Okay, so yep, so um, and I'll have a link down there um, below too, so you can click on that. So that's a hot job, and yeah. it seems like they're always hiring, but they're hiring immediately. And again, they reiterate great job security. Okay, get them quote unquote government benefits. Yeah, okay, now next job, which is going to pale the comparison to that. This better be a good job, too. Wow, don't, don't, don't do that. So um, next job we're going to talk about is brand ambassador. This will be at the Beverly Center, you know, the place where sometimes you see celebrities shopping there. But of course, you know, where all the ritzy stores are. And right there, of course, in the heart of Beverly Hills. 
near Cedar sinai and all these wonderful places. So, are you looking for more than just a job? That's what they're saying. But anyway, it is with Forever 21. And basically, as of February 2020, they're under new ownership. So with new ownership... Oh, wow. Mm -hmm, I didn't want to research Because they were going to go bankrupt. I do remember oh, that. <laughs> that's why. Right. But anyway, they are under new ownership. Um, and so basically, they are part of the uh, Simon Property Group now. Um, Brook, Brookfield Property Partners, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. Long story short, Forever 21 is not going anywhere. They are going to be forever, apparently. And they're looking for brand ambassadors, a.k.a. sales associates. But it's just with a fancy title. And what they're looking for, of course, is you need to be charismatic, energetic, of course, put on the full show as far as um, customer service is concerned because basically what they're looking for this position to entail is more than just the usual, <clears throat> hey, thanks for coming in. They actually want it to be more of a personal experience where you actually may be doing some type of like personal shopping type of things. So, um, or, or like you will be serving as a personal shopper, I should say. So offering personal shopping guidance, sharing brand knowledge, and of course, creating an overall um, amazing shopping experience for the customers. You will be basically the driver of customer satisfaction for the entire store, so keep that in mind. Now, um, you definitely will be spending 100% of your time standing and walking, so there's no sitting down unless you go to lunch, of course. And you definitely will be doing things like, you know, point of sale transactions, aka working a cash register, um, have the ability to lift 50 pounds, sitting, standing, repetitive finger motions, aka the cash register, and of course, you will do some light cleaning as well. Only qualifications, high school diploma, and they do prefer, okay, minimum one year retail sales experience and previous cash handling experiences as well. Now, again, there is no pay for this, but like Todd was, was saying that typically is no less than $15 an hour um, at this particular place, especially at the Beverly Center. Um, it'll be well, it would be, should be good. I should say. Exactly. Okay, so the next one I have is home health aid um, through Kaiser Permanente. And um, so basically home home health aid, for one, um, it's kind of like really easy to get. You can like go online and find a few like little uh, schools like around the uh, me uh, metro LA area where they charge maybe, um, I don't know, like $500 or something like that uh, to become a, you know, to get um, home health aid um, certification certificate or whatever. So anyway, um, and that's, well, I think maybe like four, four weeks or maybe six weeks or some schools, maybe three weeks, you know, you just had to kind of, um, you know, go on the internet, go online and check it out. Um, so anyway, so home health aid um, through Kaiser and uh, basically you'll be assisting um, as far as, you know, care. Um, obviously you won't be doing like the big things, but you'll be doing things like, um, you know, making sure that, you know, their beds and everything are made. Um, I was going to say something else. I'm sorry. But you, you, the other things that you're going to be doing is, you know, wiping their butt, wiping poop and stuff like that. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm not trying to laugh. It's a job. I've done it. You know, Me you too. have to, you know, Me wipe too. their wipe their butts yeah, and everything true. else. And sometimes it's a lot of poop. So what Todd means to say is you're going to have to provide personal daily care as far as that's concerned. You know, the what do they call it? The um ADLs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> activities that stands for activities of daily living because he's such a goofball. <laughs> You know, she was still. Well, let me shut up anyway. But so, anyway, all right, guys. Um, so, yep, yeah, home health aid and everything. Yes, inside joke. Home health aid. Um, so, you know, you you know, you're in a system like well, uh, walking or transferring them uh, from like the bed to the sofa or whatever. Right. Um, you'll be preparing our meals and things like that. Um, you know, uh, you'll be, you know, even like doing a little cleaning, making sure they have a clean environment. So it's really like a super simple job. So simple. Very simple, it's yeah. Honestly, like babysitting, you know, but just an adult. And a lot of times they're lonely, just need to be kept company, but of course they can't perform their own. Um, yeah, so they have, um, you know, different shifts and things like that that you can work as well too. So again, it's through Kaiser. 
and um, it's a good place to work and you know you get nice benefits and things like that too so mm -hmm. all right next I have this is my last one that I have and that is for apparently I got all the retail associate jobs but the good thing is that a these places are hiring they're hiring now and this one is fresh off the press is this is located in directly in Los Angeles it's um, actually zip code of the location is 90057 and this is for a retail associate for Los Angeles for less slash DDs aka you get a discount um, but anyway this is for a retail associate and obviously it's going you're going to have to provide typical basic customer service um, you know customer service so that means be personable greeting the customers making sure that you're keeping an eye out on people stealing because that's something that they mention here too but in addition to that of course making sure the store is presentable bringing up customers um, just again providing that customer service that you typically would receive when you go to these particular places um, brand now product knowledge knowing where things are located directing the customers in that respect and of course also light cleaning because of course they do have that um, as one of the functions too now this also uh, this does not say anything as far as the pay but let's see here where was it? I'm, oh, there we go. It doesn't say anything about the pay, but sorry. But the car was <laughs> sent to the box. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got to tell you about a poop story, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. Anyway, this, so it doesn't mention the pay. However, again, the basic companies are competencies, excuse me, are manage work processes, business acumen, you plan, align, and prioritize your duties. So um, leading by example, those are some things they look for, effective communication. There is opportunity for advancement. And as long as you have those particular skills and qualifications, um, you can effectively communicate with customers, associates, and store leadership. And of course, um, ability per to perform ba basic mathematical calculations, I would hope that you can do that, um, commonly used in retail environments. So again, say for instance, the register breaks down, you gotta be able to use calculator to find out the percentage, the tax, and all that other stuff. Um, last but not least, um, you will be, of course, standing for the majority of the time, be able to lift up to 25 pounds, and um, has, and you will be performing stockroom duties as well. So that's what I have for this one. Right. Awesome. Okay, so I have another um, Kaiser job. Mm -hmm. um, and so this one is certified nursing assistant, CNA. And um, again, I know about the CNA thing, but Jake. So, um, so of course, they want you to have your um, CNA license, obviously, uh, which you have to, you know, of course, go through the state of California. So again, you have to go to, you know, school, find a school um, where I would suggest, and um, I believe the school is still around. I'm just about positive. Mm -hmm. um, the school that actually we went to is called um, American Medical, American Medical Career is located on Wilshire. Um, it's in Koreatown, right? Yeah. It's Wilshire not and... Um, Vermont? Or not, not quite Vermont. Yeah, around that area. Yeah. Around a Wilshire... Um, no, I think it's a little past that. It's, oh, you know, okay. it's, it's kind of... It's almost across the street from, um, I think, the Robert F. Kennedy School or something like that. Uh, one of those schools over there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, if I remember you know i'll definitely put the um you know link or whatever um down in there if i can you know find it mm -hmm. so cna um you know you can go get your um you know go go to school go to class and then uh you know you go through like six weeks of you know schooling and then you go to the facility after that you know do like your rounds and things like that so then you take the test you take um you know the um physical test and then you take the um what is it their written test mm -hmm. as well too so and uh, you go through all that and so anyway so then uh state of california they send you your um you know license in the mail and you know you're good to go and so then you can apply for jobs like these that come up for cna so um they basically and so a lot of times they want you to have like experience but um Instead of putting on there that you don't have it, any experience, put on there that you do have experience because, again, mm -hmm. they have to, you know, give you, you when you uh, go to school, you have to, like, have, like, clinicals and everything, exactly. you know, so that's your experience right there. So you just put that on there. Right. That's your experience. So they're looking for a uh, per, per diem and, you know, don't panic, you know, as far as per diem because, you know, most of the time they start out per diem, but 
as long as you know you do your job, they're high, hire, they will hire you in full time. Mm -hmm. um, and what else can I tell you about this? So they they are offering a good benefits package as well too. Uh, good medical uh, benefits, um, dental, vision, uh, medical, I see it, life insurance, um, short-term disability, um, other rewards, incentives, and things like that, too. So, um, again, Kaiser is a good place to work for, a good um, hospital to work for, too. So, again, you know, things that you'll be doing, you'll be taking temperatures and everything. Um, you know, you'll be checking, you know, your pulse, their heart rate, all that stuff. Um, you, you know, of course, be changing their clothes, you know, bathing them as well. Um, and so you'll be, you know, doing vitals on them, like depending on the patient. So you'll be doing vitals like, you know, every four hours, maybe eight, every, uh, eight, every, um, yeah, four hours or um, depending on the situation. In some situations, um, like if a person just got to receive a blood transfusion, then you'll be uh, doing blood. I'm sorry, you'll be doing vitals like every hour yeah. and everything else, too. And then sometimes, um, depending on the situation, you'll be doing like three sets of vitals. Um, one laying down, one sitting down, and one standing up too. Uh, so, and then also, um, again, you will be again cleaning poop. And I remember, like, when I found out that, um, well, it took me a long time to even want to become a CNA because I was like, I don't want to clean poop and everything else. But I was like, well, forget it. You know, they paid pretty good money. Well, at least in California, guys, yeah. in California CNAs, they make good money. Um, just being a CNA, as far as the money they pay and um, like when I started out being a CNA, this was a long time ago. I was making like what almost sixteen dollars an hour, just starting off, whatever. But now you start off making like about uh, I think around eighteen dollars an hour. I think maybe a little bit more now or something. So you can like really make you know a nice you know, amount of money without even being an actual um, nurse. But um, so it's just funny. It's just a funny story because. Again, like poop. Nobody likes poop. So I remember I was work, working at Cedar Sinai. Best job I ever had in my life. That was my favorite job. I love Cedars. But so I was working at Cedars, right? So we were in the room. Two people, two patients, one on each side of the, because, um, you know, Cedars, basically private rooms. So the patient's room on this side, you know, pooped all over the place. And the patient on this side, uh, room, uh, in this particular room, pooped all over the place. So we took care of the patient on that side, and then so we had to clean up this one patient. So anyway, so we had to get lip team um, because the fact that the patient was really heavy, really huge, we could not lift that patient up to move the patient from the uh, chair to the bed so we can clean the patient up. So anyway, um, we had to basically stand the patient up, patient up. So we, the lip team had to, you know, stand the patient up. So we can clean all the poop while the patient was standing. <laughs> so the patient is still pooping, right? Oh my goodness! So, the, <laughs> so we're trying to, you know, clean the patient up, and the patient poops, <laughs> and the poop just sprays all on the guys, like these big, huge black guy. <laughs> it's, it sprays on the on, on the left team members, and the guy <laughs> just cussing up a storm under his breath. He said all sorts of words that obviously I'm not going to repeat, but he was so mad, just splash, splash, just all over his chest and, everything, <laughs> and almost got in his mouth. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Sorry, that was just so funny to me and everything, you know, just like pooped all over the place. But anyway, um, we'll have some good times. Make time, sure you times. apply immediately. Yeah, but make sure you apply. That. But guys, listen, so, you'll get used to anybody who's scared as far as, you know, the whole poop thing. Don't even worry about it because, again, like me, you'll get used to it. You know, you will get used to it. And when you start bringing home those nice checks and then, of course, overtime, because they always people are always calling off work and there's plenty of time for overtime. So you'll be good, guys. And some of you may already have experience in doing that anyway. So, yeah. you know, the drill. exactly. And um, I have uh, one more. And uh, oh, my God, I just so I'm just so silly. To, I don't know. Um, so this last but least is Postmates. I'm sure you guys heard of Postmates. Everyone has heard of Postmates. Well, at least I believe everyone has heard of Postmates. So Postmates, guys, basically, you know, for ones who don't know about Postmates, you can, you know, deliver food to people. People uh, go online and they're hungry. They want something to eat. And instead of them, you know, going out, they, you know, want to stay home and have it delivered to them. So you can work for Postmates. Now, people generally know that, you know, um, you 
they generally want you to have a car and go pick up the food, you know, and, you know, drop it off to them. But you don't have to have a car nowadays, especially if you live in um, Los Angeles. Yeah. Even if you, like, live in downtown. Uh, even if it's, like, New York or downtown New York, it's Postmates is good because you can use your bike or you can rent a bike. Like in Los Angeles, they have, you know, um, bike rentals, like, just all up and down the streets. Yeah. So you can rent a bike and you can work for Postmates. And people are always ordering, even like downtown, they're always ordering food. You can make so much money, you know, like there's people making like 500 to like $1,000 in one week. Now, they, the pay rate is about um, $25. Um, they say about $25 an hour, but you can make as much as you want. So it depends on you and the area that you work in. So um, anyway, the link, I think I'm going to have a link for Postmates. If not... Don't even worry about it. You know, you can just go online and just uh, plug in Postmates. So yeah, or you can even like just download the app on your phone. It's the fleet app, and then like seriously, just turn it to your phone. Exactly. Okay. So I really hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. So sorry we didn't have more details in terms of um, the pay rate and things like that. Um, They're being hush hush about it this time. Yeah. Apparently. So, but um, some of you guys may be moving to LA and. You, you know, may need a quick job so you can, you know, start getting some money together. I mean, hey, this is, you know, probably a good opportunity for you, so. Oh, I'm going for your, more of your funny giggles, laughs, and stories. Oh. Anyway, I guess you're done. All right, guys, so. <laughs> no, we're just kidding, but no. Um, so once again, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share all over social media. If you know how to social media, share anyway, as Todd has created that tagline. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I always look at him as a cue. And we'll see you <laughs> right. in the next video. And we'll see you in the next video. All right. <laughs>